think he's going to look like? I wonder if her face will fill out like mine did when I was pregnant. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> what? I remember Frisco used to call me an overripe peach. Uh, spare me the details, will you? Oh, are you jealous? I'm not jealous. I just don't need to hear the pet names Frisco used to call you. Unoriginal ones at that. Well, you have nothing to worry about because you're the only man in my life. I know. So should we kiss and make that official? That's a really good idea. I like that. Okay, I'm coming in. Okay. Official. Would you get a room already? Oh, hey! Kevin Collins! Oh, my God, how long has it been? Well, let's not count. <laughs> oh, it's great good to idea. see you. Great to see you. So I have to say I'm surprised. Alexis said she tried to reach you, but you wouldn't return her calls. I was weighing my options. I wasn't sure involving myself in Lucy's situation was the best idea for either one of us. Well, you obviously changed your mind. You want to help Lucy, and that's that's a good thing because she really needs you now. I went to visit Lucy in Ferncliff today. How'd it go? Bad as I expected. She just won't loosen her grip on this vampire fixation. How long have you been dealing with this? Seems like ages. I and mean, that's the reason we separated in the first place. You know, Lucy's always had a bent for the supernatural. <laughs> Mad am I anyone? Yeah. I thought it was a harmless eccentricity. Then she became obsessed with this idea that she's a slayer. When we separated, that seemed to recede for a while. She focused on her cosmetics company, and if she ever mentioned Caleb the Vampire King, it was because he was vanished, and she was afraid he'd make a return. Do you think the collapse of her company triggered the relapse? It's possible. That and coming back here, bringing up all those old memories, emotions. When she saw Detective McBain, she projected all of her fears onto him. She transformed him into a physical, tangible manifestation of all of her psychological demons. Did you try explaining that to Lucy? I told her I loved her. I begged her to believe the vampires aren't real. And uh, she didn't back down, huh? She's convinced that all these fantasies are real. Maybe they are. Of course.